this changes things. When military officials realize the terrorist cell, led by British-born Susan Helen Danforth, is preparing for a potentially large-scale suicide attack in Nairobi, they contemplate upgrading their capture-only drone mission to a killing one. We need to put a hellfire through that roof right now. To the frustration of mission leader Colonel Catherine Powell, played by Helen Mirren, the military and political hierarchy is mulling over the strategic, political and personal cost of such a decision. Meanwhile, time is running out. We lost the visual. Christ. The stakes get even higher when a child enters what would be the kill zone of a drone strike. We've got two suicide bombers inside that house, and no one wants to take responsibility for pulling the trigger. If they kill 80 people, we win the propaganda war. If we kill one child, they do. Filmmaker Gavin Hood says Eye in the Sky shows there are no easy answers. Will you sacrifice an innocent life? Will you definitely take an innocent life in order to possibly prevent the loss of 80 lives? Now you can change that very quickly. What if there were five innocent lives close to this kill zone? What if the estimate of the loss of life was only 20? What if it was 2,000? The decision makers in the dramatized operation are in different locations. While Colonel Powell is in a bunker at Northwood, London, Lieutenant General Frank Benson, played by the late Alan Rickman, is looking at the target from a boardroom elsewhere in London, and the drone pilots expected to pull the trigger are locked in a container-like structure in the U.S. state of Nevada, controlling the drone thousands of miles away. They're not actually in touch as human beings. They're in touch through the veil of the computer screen. And that itself raises questions. Is it easier to pull a trigger when you're not facing your enemy? Gavin Hood says the dilemmas in his film are based on real-life scenarios of drone warfare. There are people within the military who are seriously questioning the use of the drone, and there are people within the military who think it's the best thing that's ever happened. Given the new circumstances, I think we should abort. You have number four and five on the president's kill list in your sights. You are putting the whole mission at risk because of one collateral damage issue. He hopes his film will generate discussions among his audiences on the human, political, and strategic costs of drone warfare. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.